Hey guys, I'm Carl, and welcome back to SMA. This week I have an interview. Last week I kind of talked about my issues with work-related problems and how I dealt with them. This week I have a guest, his name is Mark Troyer, and Mark is a builder from Ohio. Mark has been a very successful builder and has had a successful career and has made quite a bit of money doing it. However, a few years ago, Mark ran into an issue with a client that nearly bankrupt him. And it, it got so bad that he had to meet with his family to talk about things like, we might lose the house, uh, we're probably going to lose the business, all these things. And it was a very heart-wrenching thing for Mark, who had really just kind of built success over the years. So I thought he would be a great person to bring out and uh, interview him to talk about the things that he dealt with. I also want to give you kind of a heads up of what we're looking at here as we go forward. I think we're probably going to have a week off, um, and the reason for that is I want us to do a probably a three-part series on dealing with the loss of a parent. Uh, back in February, my wife lost her dad, my father-in-law, Freddie, great guy, and so I want to talk a little bit about that. So I think the first part is going to be me talking about how I dealt with it. Um, then the second part is going to be uh, my wife maybe her sister and another in-law talking about how they dealt with, with, with the loss and things that we can learn from that. Finally, part three, I have a friend who lost his dad several years ago and wrote a book on the subject. So I want to talk, uh, I want to bring him in and look at practical ways that we can deal with parents who are aging and how we can deal with the loss of them. So I think we got some good stuff coming up, but again, there's probably going to be like a one week break so that I can uh, book some of these things and get them recorded. So here we go with Mark Troyer. Thank you. Welcome to SMA. This is Mark Troyer. He is my first guest, not who's not one of my family members. Mark here has a story that he's gonna share with us a little bit about his business and some of the things that he's gone through um, when things didn't go quite the way he wanted in work. And I thought it might be instructive for some of us out there who. Um, We've also had to deal with things, and maybe he might have a few words of advice. We'll find out. Mark, welcome. Thank you. Mark, tell me a little bit about your business. Well, I started a remodeling company when I was 25. Okay. And I uh, started a rental company, renting, buying and renting out homes and apartments when I was 26. Okay. So those are the two businesses that I've run consecutively or side by side for the last uh, 33 years, 35. And so for most of those years, it's been um, fairly, it's been fairly beneficial to you, right? It's, the business has kind of grown steadily over the years. A lot right? more good years than bad. Right. Um, when we were in Costa Rica, you told me a little bit of a story about how you went through a really bad time with your business. Could you, would you mind sharing a little bit about that with us? That specific time was in 2015 when okay. I had, uh, felt like too many things go wrong on a job. Right. My own mistakes and then uh, mistakes that I felt like were intentional by my client. And um, were, uh, so yeah, a lot of, a lot went wrong on that project and uh, it really made me feel hopeless. Like there was no way out, which was exaggerated. Right. But I think the reason I felt that way was because of the personal attack that I felt right. from the client. Uh, over that over a period of three months and uh, so that really affected me greatly and then uh, you're you're a business owner so you probably took a little personal pride in that that that's your business that's your baby so to speak you started this and now it's not going so well is that fair that's fair one of my uh, one of the people that I actually owed money to which was a supplier that I went to and said hey you know uh, I don't have the money I mean I'm out of money right uh, can you work with me that kind of he said don't take a personal when I explained what was going on with the client and so on, and I was like, how can you not take it personal when, you know, it's, it's, it's what I've been doing for the last right. 30 years, and I'm supposed to be an expert, and, right. and then these things happen, and how can you not take it personal? So, um, you're married, you have a lovely wife, Charlene. How did she handle this, what you're going through this really stressful time? Wow, you talk about a trooper. She was, uh, she was my right hand. Uh, she took it you know, she was uh, in it with me, and she felt the pain I felt. And uh, but she was uh, by my side through it all. I, I always knew that she was going to walk through this with me, which was a huge help, in spite of how bad it felt. Right. You know, it's interesting too, because you know, I think 
you know, as men, we can feel like, well, this is my thing and I got to handle this. But I know, like, when I have problems at work and stuff like that, like, I, Kimmy, who's my lovely wife, who's behind the camera right now, you know, she's been super supportive when, we, when I've gone through times, and I just don't know how I would have got through that without her. So wives, you don't, don't undersell wives. <laughs> super important in these things. So you had this issue, and how did you work through it? How did, how did, you, how did you come out of it? Well, I did, I did numerous things. I, I talked to the people that I owed money that I didn't have to pay the money to pay and said, hey, you know, I'll do what I have to to make this right with you, but right now I can't do anything. Right. It might take a year, it might take longer, uh, but we'll work out a way to get you paid back. First of all, that was my first concern. Right. And then uh, secondly, uh, I had uh, some other options that weren't entering my mind when I felt the most hopeless, which was you know some other property that I had equity in that I could sell. I had a motor home actually that I sold. Right. And uh, so those two things were a huge benefit in that they they got me some of some of the initial funds that I needed to get my head above water. And then I took on a project that that uh, I did much better th on than I thought I would. Right. Uh, right at the end of this. Uh, the worst part of this and so those things really helped me start walking out of this in a matter of a few months and right. you know, I'm so thankful for that because I've seen people walk through difficult times for years you know sometimes when they get in the, and over their heads so over time you've kind of built up equity in certain things and you were able to in, in lean times rely on that equity uh, uh, yeah okay that's right yeah mm -hmm. good so when you were going through this did you have um, a friend a pastor um, people you worked with, did you have anybody who had you, you leaned on to, for, you know, advice or help or? There were two couples. Uh, one was my wife's sister and her husband. And we went down and uh, it's what we call a Yogi Bear campground we talked about. Right, it. yep. <laughs> uh, we went there and stayed overnight at their place, not intending to when we got there, but we spilled our story and they had such a heart for us that they opened up their home and they said, you're sleeping in our master bedroom tonight. No excuses, no no getting out of it you're staying there and we're gonna whatever and uh so that was a big deal i mean and in fact when we walked in that night my sister-in-law had this look of delight because they didn't know we were coming <laughs> and they're an hour away from our house and she had this look of delight and you can't know what that meant in my heart right uh, just that you know but then they were just there for us and they didn't fix anything they just listened and were an encouragement and then there was another couple at church that we took the Sunday school period of the, of the Sunday morning service and just shared our story with them. And then they kept inviting us over several times that week. Over the next couple of weeks, they had us over a few times and they would, we would just share with them and they would pray. Again, not just fixing right. a lot of things, not offering a lot of promises, but just an ear. Somebody to hear that, yeah. to listen to your yeah. problems and to share the sure. burden with. So those two were a huge deal, yeah, big deal. So what advice would you give to somebody who is dealing with hard times at work or going through a, a time in their life, particularly business-wise, where things aren't working out the way they should. Because I think there's a lot of people who get to a stage in life and they're like, oh my gosh, things aren't going. I had this dream of what my life would look like and now I'm not there. What advice would you would you share with them? Well, I would think probably the first thing would be that I know who your friends are, who you can talk to that would be not necessarily trying to give you tons of advice or right. fix things but would just listen and give you that kind of support that's that's a big deal and of course praying about it and all that which we did cried out to the Lord in all the ways that we could but the people that were next to us that were listening to us that was what was a big deal and then secondly uh, don't try to do it all or combination uh, don't try to do it all by yourself so that's part of the first answer right. and then the, and then uh, just uh, I don't know, Nile lost my train of thought. <laughs> That's fine. All right, Mark. Well, I appreciate you taking time out of this beautiful day um, to, to share this with me. And uh, thanks again. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs>